we're going to talk a little bit about the Stifler vernacular. Now, Adam Hers originally wrote the part, all three scripts he wrote, and did a great job, and I was very blessed to play this part in all those movies. And I think in the third one, what I wanted to do was show that he's truly insane. Okay. <laughs> Observe the fucking Stiffmeister. Mofo here does not want the grand fucking facilitator to attend the wedding. Happy fuck day, ass mouth. Who sucks ass? Who sucks ass? Get to work, fucker. Here's how you speak Stiffler. Okay, first of all, whatever's on your mind, you say it. Kick fucking ass if you go to Chicago to see titties. There is no internal sensor. There is no filter. No. I'm a good liar, and you fucking know it. If I were lying, I'd think of something better than a kiss. Maybe a blowjob or some titty grabbing. <laughs> then you add some stiffer words. You take two unrelated terms. One of them is, like, really nasty, and one of them is completely innocuous. Oh, well, then I guess it doesn't matter if I call you a crotch face, you ball scratch and finch fucker. Cock and lunch. Cock lunch. You say it as if it's the best thing you've ever thought of. Fuck face! What part of this sucks my colon do you not under fucking stand? Let me try this for polite. No pussy, no dancy, okay? No pussy, no dancy. <laughs> the thing about writing for Stifler is, first of all, Sean isn't that guy, but he completely gets it. When he came in and read for that part way back on Pi 1 when he was working at Home Depot, it was just like, that is the guy. Like, no doubt. Cast him, pay him, put him in the movie. Hi, my name's Sean Scott. Nova! Hey, Stifler! You coming to party tonight, fuckface? Uh, depends why you're gonna be there. Ooh, you're such a funny little prick. He takes it and just, it goes from like words on the page to just like, whoo! And. Action. Well, you know, it's time to boom boom with the bridesmaids. Like, he shows up, and that was the first day, and he goes, and with the drink cup. It's time for me to boom boom with the bridesmaids, Finch fucker. Because I'm going to hang out with my wang out. <laughs> I, like, I was like, oh my god. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than you just sit back. It's like fireworks. And I'm going to rock out with my cock out. <laughs> Fucking right, doggy. That's good cake. I would look at opportunities within the scene and go, "All right, I really love this line. I think it's great. It's probably going to stay in the movie, but this is the last time we're going to do American Pie three, so I'm going to think of six alternate lines." The scene at the front desk of the hotel, where Sean has a stream of profanity that is so colorful, and he he, he must have done it a hundred times that day. And everyone's why he go off and embroider. Well, then I guess it doesn't matter if I call you a crotch face, you anal blasting finch fucker. I guess it doesn't matter if I call you a twat face, you scrotum sucking taint licking pig fucker. Well, then I guess it doesn't matter if I call you a crotch face, you choat licking finch fucker. Oh, well, then I guess it doesn't matter if I call you a crotch face, you salad tossing finch fucker. Or better yet, go blow your dad. Now I'm watching the scene. I'm not in. I'm just sitting there watching, cracking up, loving life. And, uh, and I look over my shoulder, and there's this older woman, and she's, she's a hotel guest, and she's standing there going, he works with profanity, like Picasso worked with oil, I don't know, something like that. And from one idea that Adam Hers had written, give him an arsenal of things that would be, you know, useful. There's a scene with me and Eddie K. Thomas and January Jones towards the end of the movie when January finds out that Stifler's not really the, the guy he's been acting like, even though, you know, uh, it's so obvious, you know what I mean? But for her, obviously, it's not. And, um, uh, Jesse, like, th I liked the dialogue that was written, but I thought, if this girl's gonna catch Stifler, let's catch him at his worst. And Jesse said, you should talk about milking a cow. I was like, what the fuck does that mean, dude? And I was like, all right. The thing with him is, and all these actors are, they're so good, you can kind of give them lines and they're able to take an idea and make it better in their own way and kind of own the idea. So we did a scene, it was a scene where I was like, I was, I, I finally get to finish, I'm like, you know, uh, it's like, oh, wedding, wedding this, suck, suck my ass, ass that, that. I'm, I'm special, special, you're special, we're all just a bunch of special, special fuckers. fuckers, well, you know what? Well, you know what? I want my special virgin pussy, and I especially want to get out of here. I want my special virgin pussy, and I want to get the fuck out of here. Don't count on that. Ooh! But I kind of thought that was a little too harsh, and I was like, 
what I liked is like, you know, when you watch Good Times or something or whatever, the people are like, and she was like, and I was like this, and, and she was like this, and I was like this, and I just liked that banner. So I was like, how do I incorporate that and the fucking milking of the cow into this scene? So I, I go, uh, oh, wedding this, suck my ass that, I'm special, you're special, we're all just a bunch of special fuckers, aren't we? Well, you know what? I'm a gonna get laid, Finch fucker, and it's gonna be oh so good. It's gonna be like, you like this shit, mama? And she's gonna be like, fucking right, doggy, give it to me. Suck on my nipples like you're, like you're milking a cow. It's gonna be like, Wow! And then, and then she's behind me like, and he gives me a look. I'm like, Wow! And I look. And I'm like, Oh, wedding this, suck my ass that. I'm special. You're special. We're all just a bunch of special fuckers. Well, you know, I'm gonna have a sex up with the cadence. It's gonna be like milking a cow. It's gonna be like, you like this shit, mama? And she's gonna be like, fucking right, daddy, give it to me, suck on my nipples. It's gonna be like, oh yeah, uh, sucking a cow's nipples, right? <laughs> and then that one idea that Jesse had just kind of built on it. And at least like we like tried it. We thought it was funny. This sucks. And it was just great that, especially at this stage, that they've had enough faith in us to just to kind of take an idea and go with it. I'm still gonna play, I think, the same way you have written. Just where it's like, because that's how I feel like it should be. It's just like, it's so great, it's like, fuck. I'll tell you one thing about writing Stifler for three movies now, is like, originally, Stifler was like a little part of me and something I had observed in other people, and like, you sort of secretly admire that. Like, wow, he just doesn't fucking care. By the time I was done with Pi 2, like, I started doing it. Like, and I think I started pissing people off. Because like, I couldn't help but like, in my, like I started believing in my own character. And like, you know? It's kind of freeing. Fuck face. Holy fucking shit, Bangkok. Oh, fuck you. Who sucks donkey dick? Dick. Suck my dick. Did I say that out loud?